Welcome back to the channel everyone, hope you are all doing well. Today we'll be talking about the Golden Nugget Casino that is located in downtown Las Vegas at 129 East Fremont Street. It's one of the oldest casinos still open in Las Vegas and could possibly be the oldest casino standing in downtown. It originally opened in 1946 and was opened by Guy McAfee. Many of us probably haven't heard of the name Guy McAfee before, so let's talk about him real quick. McAfee was originally born in Winfield, Kansas in the year 1888. Early on, he was orphaned and would later move to Los Angeles, becoming a firefighter and later serving as the head of the vice squad of the LA Police Department. It's a true story of someone being a part of the police department and turning into a mobster. In the 20s, he was serving as the captain of the vice squad while taking payments from bootleggers during Prohibition. He would quit the force to make more cash as one of the criminals and later join the ranks of LA's top crime syndicate. Now, the Golden Nugget wasn't the first casino he had owned. In the 30s when he was in LA, he owned the Clover Club, which was a nightclub and illegal casino that was on Sunset Boulevard. And he would later leave L.A. with wife June Brewster at the time to go to Las Vegas. Originally, when he came to Las Vegas on Highway 91 in 1938, he bought the Paradise Club uh, from owners Frank and Angelina Detra. McAfee would rename it to the 91 Club, fitting that it was sitting on Highway 91, and it would later become part of The Last Frontier. It's said that he jokingly called Highway 91 the Strip because it was such an empty road and he had an idea that later in time more casinos or hotels would follow and do the same, which after many years came true. In 1941, he would invest into downtown Las Vegas, buying a two-story building on Fremont Street. He sold the 91 Club and bought the Pioneer Casino as well as the SS Rex Club which he would later turn into a modern, tropical-themed bar and named it the Mandalay Room. In 1945, McAfee announced that he wanted to build his dream property, which would be called the Golden Nugget Saloon, and it was going to be located at First and Fremont. At the time of opening, it was said to be the largest casino in the world. McAfee also let the Golden Nugget dealers deal no-limit games to players until 1950, so there were so many big games going on from the very, very start. Something that would come back especially seen today. The famous Golden Nugget sign seen in many pictures was put up in 1949, and this too was said to be the largest and brightest sign in the world. In the early 50s, McAfee converted the Golden Nugget into a public corporation alongside his partners Jake Kozloff and Belden Cattleman. They would buy the Frontier Hotel uh, for $5.5 million. Then, in 1960, McAfee would retire. Then later that year, he would pass away at a local Vegas hospital. During the 1950s and 60s, the Golden Nugget wouldn't see too much action. Downtown was still a very popular place for locals and those wanting to get a more home-style feeling, whereas the casinos on the Strip, as McAfee stated, would later rise and they did so. Growing more and more popular as places like the Dunes, Sands, Riviera, El Rancho Vegas, Flamingo, and so many others started to grow. Next, we get someone who would take the Golden Nugget and put it onto a whole other level and that is with the introduction of Steve Wynn. In the 70s, Wynn was a local real estate investor and the former slot supervisor at the Frontier who had bought a controlling stake in the Golden Nugget. Originally born in 1942 in New Haven, Connecticut, he would go to the University of Pennsylvania and in 1963 left school to take over the family's bingo operation in Maryland. A few years later, he would find himself in Las Vegas where things would get much larger and grow quickly. In 1974, Wynn was a company board member and its executive vice president started a $2 million renovation and in 1977, the Golden Nugget opened its very first hotel tower, bringing a place for people to stay in downtown Las Vegas 
and upgrading the interior of the casino to look more modern and appeal to those of higher class. It was the first resort awarded a four diamond rating by the Mobile Travel Guide, and in 1982, they announced another renovation. During this time, Steve Wynn was also great friends with Frank Sinatra, who in many video clips seen online, you can see them making commercials together, playing around and having great, great chemistry. Sinatra would perform at the Golden Nugget, and in 1984, would perform with Willie Nelson in the hotel's new theater ballroom. Steve Wynn would take the Golden Nugget from Old Fashion and turn it into a downtown staple casino with its many renovations and upgrades, making it a casino that everyone across the world has either heard of or would like to visit one day. In 2000, Kirk Kokorian would buy the Golden Nugget along with Wynn's other Mirage resorts, including the Mirage, Treasure Island, and Bellagio. In 2005, the restaurant chain Lowry's Inc. took over the Golden Nugget and renovated the Golden Nugget twice, adding 500 hotel rooms and a $30 million three-story poolside attraction called The Tank, with a 200,000-gallon aquarium and 300 animals, including five species of shark. This made the Golden Nugget a major downtown attraction. Where else could you see sharks and other fish swimming feet away from you, or even what other place had a slide that you would take through the aquarium? For poker fans, the Golden Nugget has seen some of the best downtown action you can find, with games of 1-2 that can see well over $16,000 pots, and many who love poker have most likely seen episodes of Poker After Dark as well. They started filming that TV series at the Golden Nugget with pros such as Phil Helmuth, Ton Duan, Daniel Negreanu, Phil Locke, David Benjamin, Antonio Sfandiari, Phil Ivey, Patrick Antonius, and so many others back in 2009. It was a hit on TV at the time, and similar to today's games, these pros were playing for some high, high stakes cash. Pots of thousands of dollars, Many just loved watching them win money and analyze the game. The Golden Nugget has continued to be one of the favorites downtown, being right on Fremont Street. Many tourists and visitors of Las Vegas visit it every single day. I'm sure it will continue to be a favorite for many years to come. But that is going to be the history of the Golden Nugget Casino that's located in downtown. Still open today, and like I said, many, many visitors visit it every single day. So if there's anything that I missed or if you have some information that I didn't mention, please put it down in the comments below. Share this video with your friends and family, and thanks for watching as always. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey, no.